Okay, I'm I'm gonna start recording this here uh, on the the main channel, the politics channel, uh, because I'm a little overwhelmed right now, and I want to do this. This is awkward and weird and not planned, and I'm doing this off of the back end of all the medications I'm hopped up on uh, because it's the only way I can function right now because I got very ill randomly. <clears throat> um, but I just cataloged all of the fan art that has been submitted over the years. Um, and that fan art amounts to over 3,000 five hundred pieces of artwork. Now that's not counting the stuff I've commissioned. That's that's just everything besides that. That is an insane a, 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 an unfathomably insane amount of stuff. And I say that because I made a Patreon video recently about how I was this close to quitting. I'm I'm gonna be honest with all of y'all. I haven't been able to, to do streams. I mean, obviously this week it's because I've been sick, but it's been harder and harder to do my main content. It feels like more and more of the way the world is is out of my control and it hurts. But it's weird going through and, and cataloging all the fan art and putting that on the channel. It forced me to kind of relive every moment that I went through building my channel up to where it is today. Here, I'm bouncing away over to here so I can show you guys. Um, and, and obviously, there's chat down there. It's frozen right now. Uh, but just... I'm just going to be scrolling through here as I'm talking, and maybe you'll see something that you remember from at some point in time during the channel's life, but just to give an idea of the scope and scale, I, I don't think it's going to hit the bottom by the time we're done with this video. This is all the stuff that has been dropped over the years. I, I don't understand why... I, I generated a community around me uh, that loved artwork so much and loved sending in stuff about me and what I was doing so much. I don't understand how that happened. I don't. I, my model just fucked up during that because I don't have any of my equipment set up correctly. Uh, I just got off stream with Rhino and just... But just going through and looking at all of this from top to bottom and just reliving each and every key moment that happened in my life and my time on this channel that led to I mean hell the fucking the artworks that Lore did when me and Saki got together like I can see key moments of my life in here Hell, this was a one that was done by Bumblebee like four or five years ago. And I can remember these things from when they happened. And it's it's insane to me. Going through all of this, like I don't even remember what the context was for this one. I don't. Uh, this was the one I believe Raspberry Daz did. And we did memes on it. It's weird to go from feeling like I need to delete my channel because I don't have I'm not making the impact on the world that I feel like I should be and I'm not able to survive the way that I feel that I should be and then I, I go through and look at all this and realize well hold on I must have made an impact on somebody's life look at this thing Look at this thing. I believe this one was done by Aura. I think that's Aura Echoes' style, right? And then this one's Pernia. Just... 
it feels surreal having myself refocused because of this. This does not feel like the type of thing that would force me to refocus myself, but it but it is. It feels strange to go from wanting to just end it all, not in like, you know, the the suicide sense, but end it all in in the channel sense to feeling like I'm I'm reinvigorated and making content. Here's the here's one from Ivana Dragmire that had a bunch of channel memes behind I guess it's because, and I mentioned this, uh, here's one from Jet with, with Fem Blizzy. I guess it's because I, I basically lost my way as a content creator. I started doing things just to get them done, as opposed to doing them for the people watching. Instead of doing things for my community, instead of doing things for my viewers... I was doing them just to get content done and out there, and I... Hey, here's one from Robotic Kitty. Uh, and I, I started to hate what I was doing more and more as a result of that. As a result of recognizing that I, as a content creator, wasn't doing my part for the viewers of my channel. But going through all of this looking through all of the art that's been submitted over the years it reminds me that the most important part of doing this particular job doing this on the internet is not for the revenue it's and it's, to a degree it's not even about changing the world around me in a significant way it's about the individual people who watch my stuff it's about the very few people who come to my streams, who watch the videos on YouTube, who, who do all of that. The, the little things are the things that matter more than the big sweeping things. Even if I can't make the big sweeping things happen as often as I would like. Here's one from Mathematical Cabbage. I still want to do this as a model at some point. Um, it's... I think I got lost in the weeds of trying to make big things happen, and I wasn't focusing as much on the small things that were giving me smaller bits of joy. And as a result, my channel just wasn't making me happy anymore. Doing what I do wasn't making me happy. I was focusing on the darkness, the you know greater narrative of what was going on in the world, as opposed to just the little community that I've carved out on the internet that is given me way more fucking joy than they can ever know. People on Patreon willing to let me do what I do on the internet as a job. Because I certainly couldn't do this off of just the revenue from Twitch and YouTube. It's, it's not enough. Y'all make this shit worth it. In every single sense of the word. And I'm sorry I forgot about that. Because I did. I 100% I forgot about that. And I think it's shown in a lot of the content I've made recently how barely there I've been mentally for the content I've been doing. I've not been doing what's right by y'all. But looking through all of this, there's... A history here and that history wouldn't have happened if I wasn't doing the right thing at some point so I guess this is me saying I'm gonna try to start doing that right thing again I'm gonna try to start making content for all of y'all that y'all will enjoy as opposed to making stuff just because I feel like it's an obligation and that I have to I need to figure out how to refocus myself so that I can do that. And for everybody who's submitted fan art over the years, and a few of you who I've, I've DM'd about this as I was getting, quite frankly, overwhelmed doing this, thank you. 
if it weren't for all of y'all and submitting all of this stuff over the years and me cataloging all of it right now, I probably would have still been stuck in that mire of barely being able to convince myself to hit the stream button. Starting tomorrow, I should be well enough uh, that medication should allow me to do my stream. And let's see what I'll be able to do during that. Hopefully, I'll be able to be energetic enough uh, and and provide enough of a fun environment for everybody that it's, it's worth it being around. At least I hope so. It, this has helped refocus a lot of my brain, though. It really has. And I, like I said, we're nowhere near done. Oh, look at all the, the that's that's probably all the porn. We're nowhere near done. Looking looking through here, I've just been scrolling through and it hasn't stopped. And it's not going to stop. It, the, the video will be over before all of it's done. Um, if you are in the Discord, there's a link in the description below. Uh, there is an archive here for everything that has been submitted over the years. Uh, check out the archive. There's all kinds of shit here. <laughs> thank you all. Seriously, thank every single one of you for submitting this stuff. It's helped refocus my own mental, and I'm I'm gonna try to do better, both for y'all and for me, because I need to do better as a content creator. And this is reminding me that I need to do better as a content creator. Because a community would not have formed had I not been doing some semblance of the right thing at some point. So, thank you all. It means the fucking world to me. And I am going to be doing better from here on out as a content creator. It's going to be a lot more of the stuff that I've been doing in the past. But hopefully with some of the energy that I used to have and not the energy that I have right now. And I'm sorry that I've made so many videos lately about being burnt out. I know that doesn't make content very appealing when your content creator is constantly telling you how much they don't want to make stuff. Um, I, I, I want to be making stuff again, though. Not just stuff on the Magic the Gathering channel, which I have been enjoying greatly, but also stuff on the the politics channel, the, the atheism channel, the, the stuff that I've been doing for years. Thank you all for everything. And hopefully, I can make it all worthwhile again starting tomorrow. This has been about a two-week hiatus for me. And it's been a lot. As always, everybody. Incidental video tagline here. Hey, I just quickly want to give a thank you to all of my wonderful patrons who keep this show running. YouTube and Twitch are a pretty bumpy ride at the best of times. And the stability that Patreon provides me is worth more than I can say. I'd also like to thank each and every one of my $20 and up patrons here. And they would be Red Joker, Britzkrieg, Cameron, Dren, Gemshin, Smiling DM, Poundini, Nabity Babity, Naomi, Isaac, Agamotto, Jordan, Ravi, Juni, Kiratorian, Prisma, all of you, Sagitta, I'm not saying that part, and Starlight. And finally, thank you to everyone else that helps keep this channel alive. While you're here, why not check out another video? And thank you for watching.